So is it possible to convert a Remington 700 ADL stock that has a blind box magazine to a detachable magazine bottom metal? The answer is yes, and it really isn't that hard. The complete installation doesn't take any special tools, just some selective pruning, as Uncle Jim says, and some patience. Well folks, my name is Kenny. Thanks for joining the Eagle's Nest. Today we're gonna check out an option for you folks out there using the Magpul bottom metal magazine adapter for Remington 700 long action or short actions for folks out there with ADL stocks looking to convert to a magazine. So the main tool that I recommend to have clean cuts at minimum is a drill press with an X and Y vise and a quarter inch end mill. Of course, if you have a mill, that would be ideal. Even though I have a mill, I wanted to see if I could tackle this task using regular household tools to relate to most folks. So before we get into cutting into the stock, we want to make sure that the bottom metal lines up with your action screws. So find something that fits nice and snug inside the action screws and make sure that that bottom metal lines up. You then want to trace the outline with the pencil or fine tip marker and make sure that the pattern is nice and centered. Do your best with the tracing. It's always better to go undersized than oversized. As you can see here on this pattern, you can see that the pattern outline will flow nicely around the action screws. The action screw spacer needs to be removed before we do any kind of cutting. So grab a punch, knock it out, and set it aside. The Magpul bottom metal adapter actually comes with its own steel spacers, so you won't be using the old one. When using the drill press and X and Y vise, you want to make a bunch of plunge cuts inside the outline before you do any kind of facing or final pass. What I did is start in the middle, removing the material around the blind box area. Now, this should follow the contour inside the stock. Also, you're gonna to wanna to set the drill press to the fastest speed. Utilizing the drill press stop, I set the end mill to bottom out where the steel spacer used to be. From there, once the material is all removed, I started doing some facing, working towards the outer edges. You should end up with a nice square, clean cut with a smooth face. As you can tell, it did not entirely follow the outline as the magazine well is tapered. So this is where the Dremel comes in handy. I wouldn't recommend using a file if you have a wooden stock because it will splinter. Instead, use a Dremel with a sanding wheel and do some light passes to remove that edge. Since this is a wooden stock and differences in climate change could cause swelling in the wood, I didn't want to have unnecessary pressure points on the stock itself. So I ground down the ridges on the Magpul bottom metal adapter. As you continue to remove material around the stock, you want to check along the way to see how close you are. As you can tell, at this point, I was fairly close. I just needed to do a little bit more selective pruning. If you accidentally remove too much material and the magazine isn't locking in place, don't freak out. This is actually the best time to install a pillar bed on your rifle. And if you use the adjustable pillar mounts like the ones from Brownells, this will compensate for your oops. Also, this will give a nice metal metal contact between the action and the bottom metal. If given every attention to detail, you can get a factory looking finish that functions flawlessly and has a tight fit. Well folks, to conclude, this Magpul bottom metal update for around $80 is an awesome choice to update your rifle stock so you don't have to drop coin on a brand new chassis system in order to use a magazine. So I really hope that this information helps some folks out there get some ideas going. If it did, it would help me out a lot if you could smash that thumbs up button, therefore I could get this information out to folks that are looking. Well folks, that's all I got for now. Stay safe, happy shooting, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Retro.